going on? Cody from Matt Vapes Easily here, and today I got a new video for you on a new product that's hot on the shelf. Um, it is the Milo 300. It is by E-Leaf. Now, this is a 300-watt tank. It's basically E-Leaf's answer to the Smock TFV8. Um, overall, it is a very solid tank. I've actually purchased one myself and been using it for about a day and a half now. Definitely really like the flavor off of it. It hits very well. Another thing that I thought was surprising but I really like about it is you can actually use the TFV8 coils in this tank and vice versa. So that's definitely nice too in case you want a little bit of difference in them because right now they only have this standard coil. It is called the ES Sex Tuple. It is a 0.17 coil and it's rated between 100 and 300 watts. Right now I'm hitting it at about 150 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of pulls off of it and show you all how it does. And that thing is fogging. I really like it. Um, overall, like I said, the flavor is amazing on it. But I'm going to go ahead and break into the box with you and show you what all comes with it. So here's the box right here. It does have like this kind of magma looking uh, background to it. And then you've got the tank right here. And then it says Mellow 300 just in really easy white letters. Um, when you open the box up, you'll see the tank here. Oh, another fun fact. The tank does hold three and a half mils of juice. And then they've got a spare coil down here for you. Um, when you lift this little white insert up, ooh, you'll see this little uh, finger hole thing that you can pop open and then all the stuff will fall out of the box. But it comes with some spare O-rings and everything in case your O-rings bust. Um, it's got this little card that says, attention, uh, please make sure the atomizer head is screwed tightly onto the atomizer base when assembling. You can read that when you get one. Um, and then it comes with your manual that tells you everything about it. Um, overall though, uh, my opinion on the tank, I really like it. Like I said, I purchased one. One of my favorite things about it is the fill system right here. If you just push this down, it actually pops open and then you can just fill it up with juice. And the hole to fill it up with is definitely a lot bigger than the, uh, the cloud beast is, uh, the cloud beasts, um, hole. Um, additionally, the little rubber insert that's in the cloud beast, um, when I fill it up with juice, it has a tendency to kind of pop out. So this one doesn't do that at all. And that's one thing that I really like about the tank. But if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. All right. Y'all have a great day.